It was exactly what I thought it would be. I think Sean is so consistent on social media as far as ideas and presentation and tools and just the overall feeling, the temperature of the temperament. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was super consistent with what I was expecting and I'm very pleased with, with how that went. Um, I mean, I've, I've met Sean before, but so I knew kind of what to expect, but meeting him before is also what made me really want to come to this because one thing that stands out is he just very intensely focuses on you when you're talking, he's passionate about what he's doing, and he gives that same attention to everybody that he's working with. He just, he really wants everyone to succeed and learn and grow. Yeah, I would agree with what everyone said about just how like nice, how like comfortable we felt being here, For you sure. know, being in someone else's home. Um, but like, it's been, it's been so nice. At risk of sounding cheesy, um, but we all know I'm good at that. <laughs> you hear a lot of companies or places talk about our team, our team, but like here you feel it. Every time somebody uses the word team, I feel like you, you just, it's tangible here. Um, you guys are all on the same page, but not carbon copies. Like everyone's got their own flavor. And I feel like working through throughout the week with everybody, you got a really nice blend of everything that lets you absorb, I mean, an experience. And I don't feel like I'm gonna leave here like parroting somebody because we got a nice blend of lots of different people, so. The primary goal was um, to learn more about the e-collar. Mm -hmm. something that was prohibited to me for a very long time. Um, having a bunch of gaps in the methods of training that I have, um, and then being able to question what is this thing that's happening, how is that accomplished, and being able to see um, Sean's way of presenting that from beginning to end, not just like, here's the mess, and here's the fixed dog, but everything in between and being able to say, you know, maybe there is some way to fill the gaps in my dog training. My goals coming into the program included e-collar work. Um, for me personally, I've used the e-collar a good bit, but I knew that there's obviously more to learn and to kind of fine tune that. Um, but much more than that, I knew that there would be a lot to get out of this business building wise, but also personal growth building wise, and it's also intertwined. My goals coming in were really just to get better at what I'm doing because I'm less than a year into this career. So I know I'm in a place where I have a lot of learning to do. Um, and I know I've had such a great teacher already set me up with a great foundation. And both of us want to continue down that path of honing our craft. I know Sean sure. talks about that a lot, honing our craft. Yeah. So Rachel invested in this program for me to be able to come because not only is she focused on herself, but she's wanting to invest in her people and um, grow a business that can serve our clients in the best way possible and deliver the absolute best. Top training takeaway was that I came here to learn more about the e-collar, how I was using it properly or not, or just mm -hmm. everything in between. And um, I realized that I was skipping one of the crucial steps, which was the prompting. Mm -hmm. And I've seen how quickly that can transition the first step to the end step. And mm -hmm. I was not doing that. My top training takeaway was um, being body aware, you're a magnet and the dog is going to like respond to your positioning and your body language and, and how I'm using myself as a tool during training versus just the leash and e-collar, like mm -hmm. I can also use myself. I think my top business takeaway was um, to be a little more flexible in my thinking about 
what kind of programs I can actually do without a facility to board and train dogs. We talked about the day program. There are things I think I could probably do instead of just feeding the private training to death the way that I've been taught all these years and just as what I do and possibly um, advocating for my time a little bit more by thinking of some of the creative things that you guys are doing um, as far as your programs go. Business-wise, my biggest takeaway was really more of a validation of what I want to be doing with my own business. Coming into a program that is just so personalized with their clients and nothing is set hard and fast. You know, this client needs more time, we're going to give them more time or we're going to you know, invest more in certain areas here just because it's the right thing to do or it's going to provide them with what they want because ultimately that's why I started my business and what I want to maintain is I'm wanting to give something um, and make a living doing it, but I'm wanting to give something and I just, again, feel that very much here in this environment. It was the Good Dog Shadow program. It was not the Good Dog Cult. Like, I love that things were presented in a way as this is how we do things here, this is why but there was no shaming and doing things differently. It was mm -hmm. very much pushed like, take away from this what works for you and we're just here to show you what we're doing. Yeah. And it mm -hmm. it never felt like we have to do it this way. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Were, we were asked to, we were challenged to think about things that might be different or even uncomfortable, but never pushed to like, you have to do it this way. This is the best, yeah. this is the only way. It was, this is what works for us. and please take away right. from it what you can. And mm -hmm. I thought that was awesome. We had a conversation about how Sean really challenged us to ask why we're doing things. Yeah. And so not even necessarily like, why are you doing it that way? Do it our way. It was the, just go back home, evaluate how you do things and ask yourself why you do it that What's way. What's the foundation? Right. Yeah. And if it's working, great, keep doing it. But if you see an area where things could be tweaked or bettered, then try it out and see if it works differently in a better way and go from there. If you're thinking about coming to the program, I would definitely say go for it and get out of your comfort zone because yes, it's a long week. Yes, you will be challenged but it's all worth it and you're going to come out at the end of the week a much better trainer maybe even a much just better person in general of taking it all in and processing things like self-worth and what valuable things you're giving to your clients and um, doing a lot of just deep diving into not only the training side of things but you and where you're at as a human being, so. The staff knowledge is amazing, the team is amazing, the experience overall was was incredible. I, I would do it, I would actually like to do it again. I think coming for another time would even, it, even though some of the information and the techniques are the same, I think I could learn more every time I came here with the dynamics mm -hmm. of the team, the team changing and the dogs changing. Um, I would definitely repeat it. So To anybody contemplating attending the shadow program, I would say do it, do it, do it. Um, if you're on the fence because you're nervous, do it. It's a safe environment. It's a safe place to be challenged. And I think that's important. I know I very much struggle with stepping outside of my comfort zone and having safe places to do that. And this is very much that. If there's concern about budget, save up the money and do it, just do it. <laughs> There's so much to get from it.